Hello YouTubers, it's Alain Miki here again on Code with Miki. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to send push notification in Python. But before we start, we are going to be installing one package which is Win10 Twas. So to install Win10 Twas, let's go to our command prompt or your PowerShell and install win10 to us so when you open your powershell or your command prompt what you do you do pip install win10 to us you hit enter and win10 to us will be installed in your computer so after you install written to us all you need to do is to open your text editor and start writing the code as you can see here i've already installed written to us that's why you see it is showing requirement already satisfied so i'll go straight to my editor and start showing you how to send push notification with python so in this video I'll be using Visual Studio Code as my text editor. So let me open Visual Studio Code. Here is my Visual Studio Code. I'll be creating a new file. Create a new file here on Visual Studio Code. And uh, I'll be saving this file. That's Control S to save. This file, I'll be saving it as no fire.py and I'll be saving it on desktop all I need to do now is hit save now we have created a file and save it let's import win 10 to us and start writing the code so we'll start with from win 10 to us From we tend to ask import to ask notifier yeah import uh, to ask notifier we also need one import again which is time let's import time Yeah. import time now let's get down and start with the code now we are going to be creating a while loop while while true let's make it an endless loop that's why true create a variable current time current time equals to time dot stro f time so we'll be giving it a string give it a string that percent h is r give percent m which is minute and uh, percent s which is seconds yeah step down give a condition here if current time is equals to now we are going to be given a time which our notification uh the program will notify us when a task is finished or a particular function has done running 
So here we say when time current time is equal to or we'll give it in a string. For example, let me first give a, a default time here before I will check my current system time and update it when we run the program. Here we we'll see zero zero three. That's the R give fourteen for the minute and uh, zero zero for the second. Now, if that is a con the condition, we'll print we'll print current time. I'll yeah, print current time and we'll break out of the loop yeah so that's all about a while function now let's go to the win 10 to us function let's first create an object of win 10 to us so we we'll see let's just say hru is equals to was notifier I do will do B should be equals to H arrow dot show to us now in here the first uh, the first uh, argument here is title that's the title of our notification We'll say, let's just say alarm, give comma, and the next one will be the message, which is also a string. Let me say, this is a notification. Yeah, this is a notification. And uh, the next one. Is supposed to be an icon that an icon that will display when a notification pop up but we will not be adding an icon so then we we'll add duration let's just say duration duration which is an, a keyword argument will give it six and uh, the last one will say thread thread should be equals to true yeah thread equals to true so now if we run a program it will run successfully but let me first change this time to the current time and before we run please guys i would like to tell you that i'm using windows 10 so in windows 10 to see notification you must come to the no notification section here and open it before you can see notifications but in other windows like windows 8 7 the notifications will just pop up so here the current time is 12.33 let me put it to 12.34 and uh, let's save and run now guys I will open my notification my notification section here let's watch and see let's watch up here for the notification yeah yeah guys here's the notification as you can see here the notification just disappear so that's how you can send push notifications in python and please guys if you learn something from this video 
please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and if this is your first time if this is your first time on this channel please guys don't forget to subscribe see you next time it's your boy again alamiki yeah on code with mickey see you next time guys